This is a recording of two former slaves from the United States of America recorded in the 1940s as part of the Slave Narrative Project. One of the individual's names is Joe McDonald. The woman is unidentified, but they were both slaves. Here they're talking about their experiences working in the field and working in the house. Well, well, can't you tell a story about your, uh, when, about your girlhood days and about who raised you? Go ahead. Come about Jane. No, you. Yeah, you. you. Oh, I always was a good girl. I don't know any stories on me. You, know. <laughs> well, you work in the field or work in the house? Yeah, I was working in the field and the house, too. Both places. But I like the field the best. Why do you I, like to feel the best? Well, just because I catch more good breeze and more good fresh air out in the field than I do in the kitchen or uh, in the house. Now, you know that. I didn't go to the field until I was 19 years I old. I love the field. I, I went to the field when I was 19 years old. and remember the old boy said, Why, Joe? He, you know, I had three gyms there. You know, we had uh, one gym, uh, two gym max, and one gym tunnel, Kenneth. And uh, my brother Jim Mack, he was the color fella in the white gym, you know. He went with my old boss to look for the Jim Kenner, you know, and to put me to flying, you know. He said, Joe, he said, Sir, I want you to go up there on the while the baby to sleep. And fly, I said, when Mr. Dora called, you go back to the house and see the baby. So baby went to sleep, you know, slept two, three hours, and I fly to the old boss right back. <laughs> but I didn't like the field. Didn't go to the field that was I 90. The field. <laughs> I didn't go to the field that was 90. What kind of work did you like best in the field? Picking cotton. Picking cotton. Picking cotton. How yeah. much could you pick in a day? Well, 150 and 60. Well, you weren't picking very hard. Excuse me? What did he just say? Let's listen again. Picking cotton. Picking cotton. Picking cotton. How yeah. much could you pick in a day? Well, 150 and 60. Well, you weren't picking very hard. That comment reminds me of a scene from the movie 12 Years a Slave. 182 for flat. How much can even an average nigga pick a day? 200 pounds. This nigga ain't even average. Here, Joe McDonald reminisces on an episode that happened when he was given a choice between working in the house and working in the field. Now, then they said, uh, his daughter had a horse named John. He said, Joe, they can plow old John. I said, yes, I know I can. Which had you rather do? Go down in the field, plow old John and dust the baby. I said, oh, I want to go to the field. He looked at me and left. <laughs> you know what I tell the story? <laughs> You know what I'd rather be in the house than be in the field. He said, well, you go out there and check your old John and go down there and fly to the door of the And you know, I went, caught old John, hit him to the tennis floor, went down there and fly to the and come down and sit down by a big old old foot, big and that's on the street. I said, now let's sleep. He said, Joe, I said, sir, did you fly to Miss Dora's I said, no, yes, yes, no. <laughs> he said, check out old John go to the house and see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I remember that bit. good. <laughs> All right, Miss Carol. It's easy for us to sit back now here in 2023 and judge the mindset of these people who were born into slavery. It appears from the conversations that this man is having with them that they weren't treated that bad. However, the fact still remains that they were slaves and not free to do as they saw fit in life. They were born into slavery, born with the mindset that they weren't as good as the person who owned them. But my purpose in posting these recordings is not to make people angry or pass blame or judgment. It's just for us to remember that this is a part of our history in the United States. So in the case of Joe McDonald, for example, he appears that he had a, a good life. But he's basing that good life on the life of a slave. He has nothing to compare it to. He doesn't know what real freedom is. He was brought up with a mindset that he was inferior to the people that owned him. <laughs>